One of the drag lines at the Cato Properties Company's Freedom Mine got a major overhaul this summer. Jay Olson explains why it was needed. The tub on our 2570 drag lines is an 80 foot round steel structure. It is uh, the device or sits on the ground and it does two main functions. It supports the weight of the machine while it's digging. It also distributes the 13 million pound machine weight onto the ground so that it can uh, stay above ground and keep digging. We had to uh, plan for this project due to a couple of things. The tub's original the machine with 226,000 hours on it, which with Coteau's maintenance practices, that's kind of twice as long as tubs last on an average at a lot of locations. And with the length of hours on it, the flexing in the tub due to supporting the machine has caused a lot of fatigue cracking in the structure itself. And then a lot of the components that are tied to the tub with the roller system and the swing rack were also fatigued out, which timed out really well to replace all of these components all at the same time. It was a two year project from start to finish, um, from the planning phase throughout. and. Uh, Throughout the project, it was about 85 plus people that helped with it. At the Freedom Mine, uh, safety is the number one priority out there. So throughout the project, we made sure that everything that was going on was stayed safe. It's the first time Coteau Freedom Mines replaced a tub structure under a drag line. And uh, we'll be looking to do it again in a few years on 902 drag line that's uh, going to be in a similar situation with the original tub needing replacement due to length of time it's been in service.